my jar is, I think it's 10 ounces. Yeah, my jar is 10 ounces. So we're gonna, I'm gonna use about a jar and a half based on how much tomato that I'm putting in the, uh, in the pan. It's kind of how much do you like olives um, or not. If you want it like to be a subtle taste, maybe just use one jar if you, if you do like that olive flavor or if you've never tried this dish, go for the, go for the jar and a half, the two cups, um, cause it really is a nice flavor. Um, I'm gonna come over here and flip the chicken. Now the skin is not gonna be brown or cooked or, or, you know, crispy yet. We're just warming this up and getting things to render into the sauce. Mine is a little bit brown, but not really, and that's okay. So we're gonna give those a couple more minutes. And um, so I, let's see, I think, no, this is a jar and a half, so I'm good. I did most uh, most of these um, earlier today. Now, if you, if you are using the jar and a half, and then you're like, hey, I have a, a half a jar left. So here's, here's a sidebar while we're letting that chicken cook. So this is a wonderful little appetizer that um, you could make with these olives. So I took these little, little, you can use crackers. These are little um, crustinis. And I made, here, let me show you this. So this is all chopped up, so I don't really know if you can really see what's in here, but it's basically, the green olives, so you could use any green olive, the green olives with pimentos in them or Spanish olives, and then it's the black, so you have to pit them, the black olives. It's got some garlic and olive oil, a little bit of vinegar. I'll post this recipe for you guys. Um, some grape tomatoes cut up and some feta cheese. And this is a lovely appetizer that you can use with your other half of your uh, jar of, green, of black olives. So. I'm gonna have one of these because they're amazing. And it's so easy and it's a great make ahead. So this is like a super yummy uh, make ahead appetizer that you could make the day before um, if you're having a cocktail party or whatever. So good, do you want one? I know you love these. Okay, here, can you take it and just put it down? Yay. I'm having one of these because I can't, I can't resist this. Now, when you do make this, the one tip that I will give you is you can put all of this together ahead of time, except the tomatoes, because the tomatoes kind of get acidy when they sit in there too long. So you can put everything in there, and then the day of when you're uh, preparing your, your appetizer, then add the tomatoes, because everything else will be all married. The flavors will be amazing, but um, the tomatoes won't kind of make it icky ahead of time. So, mm. Yum. Okay. So 